Hey guys, this is Andy, and this is our operation today. We're gonna to be showing you how to install an outlet fast and easy like a pro. Stay tuned and watch. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for our video. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'm doing a quick installation on replacing one of these outlets. So stick with the whole video, but let's cover the basics of the outlet and wiring right now. So with a 120 volt outlet that you can pick up at any hardware store, the, the features to note on the outlet are you have two screws on one side, two on the other, and the green ground screw here. Um, the color coding is silver uh, on the two screws are for the white wire, the two gold screws are for your black wire. Now, when I say your wiring here, typically all outlets will have 12-2 Romex going to it, and that is solid copper Romex. You're gonna have a bare ground, a black, and a white wire. Um, you may see two blacks and two whites, and then two coppers, uh, two, the bare coppers going to it, but they all go to corresponding terminals. So you're gonna have the white wires are gonna go to the silver ones here, the black ones are gonna go to the gold ones here, and the bare copper is gonna go right here on the green. So there's two ways to secure it to the outlet itself. You can either strip the wire back and slip it underneath these slots here and pinch it down. I don't recommend that because typically they slip out when you're trying to reinstall the outlet and it's not as secure as doing the hook method underneath the screws. So with that, let's just do that real quick. You want to pick up a stripper tool of some sort. Um, I like this one for a couple reasons. It's small, easy to work with, and it has the two hook tools, which I'll show you how to use. So normally you will want to just strip off about three quarters of an inch, um, give or take uh, three quarters of an inch to up to probably an inch of wire off the, the wire. And when you strip it back, you're gonna be left with about that much wire. Some guys will show you like you can try, some outlets have a little marker to try to indicate how much wire strip back. Give yourself approximately that much. And these two holes on the wire strippers are meant to hook the wire in the top and create that nice U hook bend like so. And when you do that, you can just quickly, the, the screws are open like this. You're gonna hook around. Let me just get around this screw here so you can see. You're gonna hook around the screw like this and just tighten it up. Um, you're gonna wanna stay, if you can stay clockwise, because uh, you're gonna be screwing clockwise, so you wanna hook clockwise for the you know best security, but it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you just can't get it around that way. It's a little more difficult and you can go counterclockwise if you have to. As long as you're underneath there, hooked and secure, you're, you're not gonna want a lot of copper showing past the the uh, black terminal, that's why I hook about that much or strip off about that much because it could short out if you have excess wire strip back here. So with that, I'm just gonna, we'll hook that one to the white terminal like it did. I'm gonna show you real quickly, we'll strip off this black one about that much and strip that back, quickly hook this here, give it a hook on the bend and connect this to the gold terminal like so. And once that's hooked up, I'm gonna just tighten this down real quick. Give it a, get. make sure you get it nice and tight and make sure it's underneath your underneath your screw. Uh, pretty solid. I mean, it, sometimes they, it, they, they get a little high on the screw head, but you're gonna wanna see something like that for an end result. And then the copper, now this is gonna be a little different because you can hook it if you have just two, a black and a white and one copper, it's easy to hook the single copper around here. But typically, you'll see four wires because that will be in the middle of the circuit and you'll have another, the, the wires going to another outlet. So you're going to have to use an extension on your copper. So, so you're going to wanna do something like this with a lineman's dykes or something along those lines. These work easy to twist the leads together. What you can do is either twist on an additional lead so you're gonna basically take two, two wire, the two wires that are going there and maybe a third to get you a nice, uh, a nice twist in the wire to start connecting these two together for your extension. So if you're gonna do something like that, you could take two wires, twist them together and wire nut them, 
put your extension so you can get one single one so the two are together and the single one would be twisted around here with the hook um, because it's hard to get two it's hard to get two wires underneath this single post uh, so just keep that in mind um, just in case you run into that problem you might have to add just a bare copper twist them together wire nut them and you'll be good to go with that now if you if just so you note real quick if you do end up with just a black a white and one copper that is typically the end circuit in your circuit panel for that particular circuit in your house so if this if i opened up the outlet and i was replacing this one and i saw it only had a black white and one ground that's gonna you would probably note that either that is the only outlet on that circuit or the last outlet in that circuit for that given um, for that given outlet section in your in your house so just keep that in mind but with that let's go over just a couple of key features here um, the other thing is a switched outlet for like a garbage disposal there is a little tab here on each side and you can see this tiny little tab if you there's a bridge tab and if you were switching this outlet where you had the top one that was switched and the bottom one was going to be constant power you would cut that little tab on both sides of the outlet to make this a switched outlet so underneath your sink uh, typically you'll have an outlet the bottom half might be plugged into your garbage disposal the top half will be like just a live regular outlet and then this one is wired on one side of the outlet to go up to a switch on your wall and that would be a switch circuit so that would be how you would split an outlet to have it run two different things if you were wiring it you know according to your wiring for that particular uh, application but those are the basically the key features on any outlet um, the rest of it is fairly straightforward as far as putting it in there i am going to cover that right now uh, with a quick video on installing these and the only last thing i'll note is everyone kind of asks like to make sure 12-2 wiring is on typically a 20 amp circuit breaker like this uh, 20 amps would be, correlate with a 12 gauge wire in your panel so you don't want to you can't put a 25 or a 30 on a on a 12 gauge wiring you're not supposed to do that and you should not be doing that but that would that's going to be in another video we're going to cover just installing a breaker uh, and a 240 volt breaker so check out our other videos but let's do the install real quick to show you how to replace it thanks for watching all right guys so we're going to replace this outlet right here and let's first check it for power of course you can use one of those little cheap meters the little stick peg meters i just use one of these um this one has a light to confirm power and it says 123 volts right now so let's kill power to that to make sure it's off so we're going to do that right now and you can see my meter is down to zero volts and the lights off so i know i got power off to the unit and let's replace it real quick so i'm going to take a drill because it just goes a little faster to drill these out and get this outlet out so once that's out i'm going to pull it forward here and this is kind of why you want to use the hook method like i explained um, because you, when you're pulling on this it will slip out of those like just the slip in method but with that and you can kind of see here um, the wire nut that's connecting the little pigtail extension to ground to get one wire there so now I'm just going to quickly take these off now what you can do it makes it a little bit easier just if you're replacing the outlet and you're not reusing the outlet just back these screws all the way just take them right out now you don't want to do that on your new outlet because they're, they're meant to just be backed out to the stop point not totally stripped out but do that to the blacks and then we'll do this to the white wires same thing we'll just back them all the way out and take them out like so same thing with the ground so now you're left with two blacks the two white wires and the bare copper okay guys so I hooked up uh, these around the hooks real quick uh, instead of wasting time on the video but I did notice one thing um, the wiring at this location was not correct because you have this this wire is a 14 gauge copper wire instead of a 12 so this should instead of this like pigtail lead here this should be 12 gauge copper this size instead of 14 for the ground so I'm going to quickly just fix that and show you that real quick 
So let's just connect. I'll clip it off here. Got a hook bend on here. And then we're gonna take, take this is where this Lyman's Dykes comes in kind of handy. Um, leave yourself some more lead. I could have left it just a little bit longer, but this should go fine. Always leave yourself a little more than less, but um, basically you're gonna wanna get all three together, get, start giving it a twist to get these nice and connected like so. And once you get them to where you're comfortable, they're connected, we're going to just cut this off here. I'll, my hands are in the way, but I'm gonna cut this off here and I'm gonna put this wire nut on here, wire nut these three together. Get that nice and tight. And once that's nice and tight, you have your your single lead for your ground. Gonna put that around here and like so. And if you want to, on the ground one, it's easier to pinch. You can just pinch it right around the right around the post. So with that, you see my other ones. Basically, I'm just gonna tighten these all up real quick. Um, get these nice and like I said it's it's always perfect in a perfect world they will go perfectly smooth but it doesn't always happen so you try to get them get them you got to get them down in there get them so they're so they're around the post so you're not seeing the copper off the top of the screw head like this so they're all nice and secure and there's not really any copper showing off the back way back here to short out and same thing on this side I'm just gonna connect this one that came off because I was didn't tighten them all down real quick but you kind of get them started on the back side get them hooked in and once you do I'm just gonna tighten these down same deal and once those are all tight make sure none of your wires are like cut or nicked or anything separate I try to separate the white wires um, off your hot black um, wire and give them a push back to make sure they're not binding or gonna you know cut on anything in case you're using uh a metal boxes it's very important uh metal boxes are sharp edges and they can cut everything so just kind of get those pushed back kind of manipulate it back into place and then use a screw gun because it was a lot faster than this and just screw it back in And you can take it, you can visually inspect it if, if you have to tip it to make it straight for your outlet cover, or you can move it this way or this way. Get it where you want it for your outlet plate, and then you can secure those down tight. Take a flashlight, look inside, making sure nothing's binding or cutting or pinching or anything like that. And if everything looks good, you're all set to go. So that's how easy it is to do an outlet, and we'll see you in the next video.